Hey guys, it's Wednesday. Got my coffee. You know what it means, right? That's right. It's time to do a coffee time with Cobra. Sorry, monsters, you've already gone out. So, where does one begin? Well, I'm going to start off how I always do. Is today a Han day or is it a Fet day? Dun dun dun! It's neither. But Cobra, Han was just facing us. Well, that's because I'm happy. Uh, I'm happy because um, a dear sweet friend of mine is making the big plunge, the big move to move from Utah to Alaska. And she's doing it for her kids. She's doing it for herself. Um, I am 100% supportive of this. Um, her current living situation is horrible. And I mean like horrible, horrible. Her kids is her, uh, her kids' is father, he is heavily into drug use um, and doesn't want to seek any kind of help. I'm not going to say who it is, but um, yeah, and I'm 100% supportive of this for for them, for her, for for the wee ones. Um, now, before I went live, I posted something on the Facebook group about me doing a coffee time with Cobra, and so. Uh, I said to him, uh, ask me any question and I will answer it. Kind of like a small Q&A. And so a question was asked to me by Jessica Gray. Thank you, Jessica. Um, if I could do anything in the world, what would I do? Well, I'm already doing it. I'm already doing it. I'm entertaining you guys. I don't care if my videos only get like 30 or 40 or 50 views. I don't care. You want to know why? Because that's 30 or 40 or 50 people that care about me. That's why. That is why. Um, right now, as I speak, I'm in the process of rendering that to miniature painting video. I didn't realize that I had recorded down near like nine hours <laughs> of footage. And so I'm, I'm cutting it up into multiple parts where I'm explaining uh, a whole bunch of things. I had to cut out a lot of audio because my compressor, my, my, my air compressor is broken. And so the, the pressure relief valve on my air compressor is, 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 it's going out there's nothing there's no amount of jb weld i can do to it to fix it so my compressor is on its is literally on its last legs so what i might do today is throw up a um donation goal to get a new compressor and maybe some miniatures so i can do some more creative uh, live streams on saturdays and sundays for you guys and at the same time it puts more content up on my uh modeling youtube channel so there we go winner winner chicken dinner um most importantly, it's a beautiful day. Um, I'm kind of walking on eggshells right now. And that's the puppy's acting up. She's moving out of Utah for her and her kids, and I don't blame her. I wish her nothing but the best, I really do. Uh, I myself am still getting things together so that uh, I can start shipping off stuff to my sisters back in England so that uh, when I go to leave, uh, the majority of my stuff is already waiting for me back in England. That does include uh, my computers. So you guys are going to be without streams from me or YouTube content or stuff like that for quite some time. Now, if I manage to get a laptop beforehand, I would use the laptop to uh, upload and publish and, and, and still interact with you guys, still upload the Coffee Times with Cobra and stuff like that. But uh, if I can't get a laptop, I don't know how long it's going to be because I'm going to have to buy new monitors. I'm going to have to buy um, new cases because I'm not shipping the cases. I'd rather just buy brand new cases and just put the hardware in the, in, in the new cases. And go that route, you know what I mean? A, a new case will probably run me 70, 80 pounds each. New monitors will run me anywhere between 150 to 200 pounds each. And uh, yeah, I'll be starting a new job, so that'll be fun. I'll be starting as a uh, a bouncer. At least, fingers crossed, I still will be. Uh, I'll be getting my door security card, which means I'll be able to to work wherever I want, freelance or work for a company. Um, 
I'd rather work for a company that way I've got private insurance as well as uh, regular NHS so if I have to go get you know whatever work done I can uh, also um, I know some some security companies supply you with your own stab proof vest and whatnot and most people are like what do you mean stab proof vest guys why is it the rest of the world is very sheltered when it comes to England the rest of the world seems to think that England you can't own guns as bollocks of course you can own a gun in England you just you just got to follow extra steps like having your home in checked by the police having your gun safe checked by police uh, if there's a shooting and the caliber it matches that of your gun they the police will come to your house check your firearm stuff like that when you go to when you go to shoot it you have to go to a gun club that has a registered police officer on, on there and he inspects your weapon beforehand and after um, there's plenty of gunsmiths in England, and there's not just Enfield, which is the most crappiest gunsmith in the whole... I, I, okay, tweet, change. If I could do anything in the world, I would work at Enfield Firearms, and I would f perfect and fix the, N, the, the, the L85 and the L86. In fact, you know what? I would scrap them. Plain and simple. I would scrap them. The ball pop design, yeah, it's, it's a great idea. It's a great emphasis. Um, but what you got to understand is that's a lot. That's like that's like fifty thousand pounds of, of pressure right here on your cheek, you know, and it's only held there by three seals and and some polymer. You know what I mean? Three seals and a polymer. Do do you have a, a motor engine combustion chamber right here? Because there's more pressure in an Enfield rifle than there is in a combustion chamber in a car engine, and that propels you down the road. That should fucking tell you it's right here on your cheek do you see it's right there so yeah i'm, I'm not a fan of bowl pops um mind you i that, that's the thing i do like the look of the famas i do like the look of the fs uh, 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 the fs 2000 uh, or the fn 2000 but all in all guys i'm a p90 guy and yes i know that is a bowl pop configuration uh, smg or sorry pdw because it's not considered an smg and it's not considered a carbine um, it's a, it's, it, this is the weirdest thing, okay, you, you, this is, ah. okay, it's longer than an SMG, but it's shorter than a carbine, therefore it's a PDW. Does it fire bullets? Yeah, it's a fucking gun. <laughs> Plain and simple. That's my take on it. Um, if I could, I would own... Well, I would do what I'm doing now, which is streaming, making YouTube content, and having fun. And at the same time, I would like to own my own streaming house, where I could get some people that I love and adore, who are in my life: Warhammer, Fighter Pilot, uh, 60s Spider-Man, um, a whole bunch of you guys. They're just just names off the top of my head. Doesn't mean if I haven't named you, doesn't mean I don't want you there. Of course I do. Um, there. And just vlog our daily life, have fun, throw it out there, the shenanigans, the antics, you name it, you know, and, and have fun. That's what it's about. It's about having fun. Okay, guys? Life is too short. You have a finite amount of time on this rock, okay? Live it up, okay? I was actually in the middle of, of, of talking to this uh, with someone. When I try and explain to them, the moment a child loses its innocence, it, it they become a monster. Most people don't seem to understand this concept, so I'll explain it to you. When you're a child, you think like a child, you act as a child, you do childish things, okay? So, how many of you had imaginary friends? I did. I had an imaginary friend. His name was Derek. See? I had an imaginary friend. Actually, his name was Dave. But he, his full name was Derek, but he didn't like being called Derek, he liked being called Dave. But like I said, how many of you love to paint or sculpt or draw or write but can't? Because, well, I'm going to school for this, but it has nothing to do with writing. And you don't have passion for what you're learning. Change your course to writing that you already have a passion for. A passion that you cannot fake. A passion that you cannot cheat. Does that make sense? Do what you have a passion for. 
okay? I have a passion for entertaining people, and that's what I do. I entertain you guys, at least I try to. And if I'm not entertaining, you should at least tell me with the thumbs down or the thumbs up, or leave a comment down below. Know what I mean, guys? Tell me. Entertain. Let me entertain you. Let me talk to you. Let, let me spit some true words in your ear, okay? The first time I, f I made people laugh, it made me feel so good. I was 10 years old, it was Christmas day, 10 years old. Me and my brother, we got these uh, red rocking guitars and basically they were really fake plastic guitars that when you pulled on the strings, it made a fake note. Basically, you just, all you could do is stand there holding the string repeatedly and it'd end up playing the whole song for you. And you had these karaoke microphones. My mum has uh, uh, home, home footage of me and my brother playing these. And my mum and my dad and my nan and, and my uncles and, and my cousins and everyone else are pissing themselves with laughter as me and my little brother think we're rock stars just jamming out. And I felt so good, guys. Look, I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it, just remembering it. Okay, look at that turkey skin, man. Just, just remembering it. Just remembering it. And that's what I get when I go live. That's what I get when I make a YouTube video. That's what I get. I don't care that if I upload it, is it going to go mega viral or not? I don't care about that. If it does, it does. If it don't, it don't. It's no skin off my back. It's no... It, it's... 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 You know what I mean? It's meh to me. What means a lot to me is that I get it out there. That comes from here goes into this and goes on the interwebs do you understand that's what it's about that's what it's about so you asked me if I could do anything in the world what could I do I'm already doing it I would like to expand it to a streaming house maybe the house next door that one over there uh, mostly because the neighbors are never fucking there uh, but that's only like a two-bedroom house that's that's useless um, I know it looks bigger, but it's not it's actually a two-bedroom house. It's useless. Um, so I'd probably I'd need like a, a six or seven bedroom home, you know, really big home. And then I'd invite certain people and just have fun shenanigans. Well, coffee's done, which means I'm done, which means this vlog's done. So guys, I'm gonna love you and leave it and I'll see you in Friday's Coffee Time with Cobra. Um, if you want, I'll leave in the video description down below. I will leave links to my modeling channel so you can go check it out. And if it suits you, hit the follow button. If it doesn't, it's okay. Till then, my friends. Love you and leave you. Ciao.